All right. God, it's lunchtime on Thursday, the 11th of, I was almost going to say February, April. April. And <laughs> continuing on with this uh, burrito feast I was blessed with yesterday <laughs> and this morning. I had a cold breakfast burrito, or at least what was left over from last night, one. And now, I am, I am doctoring up the next one. And I don't know if I'll be able, I can tell if Goose Nest shows up here, but it's sunny. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I got the tarp wide open. It's a beautiful, cool breeze. The sun is hot, but oh, thank God for that breeze. Because um, this, any tent or anything, um, even though it's lined with silver, which reflects, um, uh, you know, it gets to be like a greenhouse. It can get hot in here, so just, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for the breeze. And, um, yeah, so, oh my God, well, the, uh, the, let's see if I can do this, because finally, I can sit back on the floor. Hey, baby Grogu, hello. It's kind of, you don't have to look at the. Hold your head high. There we go. I put my little, my little uh, uh, um, amethyst. Baby Grogu and its amethyst heart. Yay! Hi there. Uh. So anyway, uh. So once again, I'm doing a little bit of a. A solar cooker warming up of, uh, of let's see how that looks from here yeah there it is just you know save the aluminum foil and uh, oh so butterfly teeny tiny one just flutter by um, gosh, sleeping dreams continue to be very, um, dredging, which is fine, you know, again, it's bringing stuff up, it's, it's been buried, 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 buried so deep, um, from the last really epic an era of, uh, of our growth and development. Me personally, and then as humanity. Amazing times, really amazing times. I'm just, wow. I sit in the awe and wonder of it all. But um, I slept pretty good, and it didn't get that cold. It only got down to around 40, 38. It wasn't, it wasn't like that really painful cold last night, so, so I slept. I slept, and then I got up early enough to to catch the uh, Gudwara up in um, Alberta, do the Nittenham, you know. I'm so grateful to have that, and um, And it was fascinating doing, because usually around, because I got up a little later, rather than like the three o'clock, I got up around six. And, and it's so fascinating, at least how my mind works. Like if I can catch Nittenham before that last hour of sleep. So again, the three, four o'clock in the morning hour. And it's like um, I can focus on 
the guru's energy behind and between the words, the sound current, and it's like, like, I can just be in that flow. And but what was so strange, and then, but this morning, getting up at six, um, a lot of the monkey mind was like waking up too. <laughs> and, and, um, and uh, effort in the way of in the way of letting the monkey mind go but also staying focused on the Gurbani and letting the monkey mind kind of stay in the background and just giving it giving it to the guru that is it's interesting because it was still there and I was able to tap into that divine sound current. It, it was just fascinating. So this morning, that was my experience. Um, but it was all right. I was, it, it, again, you know, it's just different ways, different energies, different times. It all comes together. Um, and... I got up and I actually, which is very rare, I don't eat heavy first thing in the morning, but I got up and ate the remainder of one of those burritos, which was really interesting. But I did, and I ate it at ground, so I think I need grounding. <laughs> and so I'm gonna have, have another one for lunch. Um, though again, I have them packed down next to the floor and covered up so it's like a refrigerator it'll stay cool um but all of a sudden i heard like this these trash trucks and um what do you call those um caterpillars i think we call them caterpillars or what have you uh, steer I can't think of the word but you know those things that kind of have that and they clean up the garbage and then straighten up well they were they came through on the so what side is that the south side of the hill and um, and they cleared out the garbage of um, abandoned sites tent sites but everybody everybody you know it's just I I didn't know that was gonna happen so it was always it's like oh my god <laughs> are they cleaning off the whole hill or no but they weren't because everybody else was pretty chill and those who stayed on the hill stayed in their tents and, and the folks cleaned it off so the south side is cleaned off um, so that was a little it was disturbing because I didn't know that that was going to be happening. Um, but it, it was okay. So I, had, I went through my my anxiety in the morning. It's like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So it's like these energies. Bulldozers, that's the word I was thinking of, bulldozers. Because it brought to mind, there was um, a book I read in either freshman in college or high school by Achinua Achebe on I believe he's a Nigerian man, and a river runs through it. Oh, geez, it was one of his first books. So this was in the 70s. And he talked about how in Africa, you know, the imperialists would come through and just, with their bulldozers, and just plow everything down while people were standing and then, and then killing you know or start start the huts on fire or whatever all the people were still in their bed now this is way before they didn't have telephone they didn't have electricity out in these villages they just came in and and um oh, here comes the garbage truck again probably gonna get some more stuff 
but it's lunch hour. I don't know. We'll see what happens. There's plenty of garbage up here. There's going to be many, many. This, well, anyway. So I remember that. I just remember the terror. Obviously, I lived through that. Um, you know. So again, this morning, waking up, feeling like, oh yeah, and I was. I was feeling like, oh, I feel like I turned the corner, and and um, things are going to things. You know, I had a good feeling of things are going to work out. You know, even though I don't know exactly how yet. And right now, most everything looks like it's unraveling, which it is. Um, so, so I woke up to that, and that just like really triggered some very deep, deep energies. But it's the stuff that's going on, and oh my God, over in Palestine, and what has happened all over the planet and so but fortunately here they're just cleaning off the garbage and I haven't heard word from anybody that um, that they're gonna clean the hill off they're just cleaning off the garbage for the time being we'll see what happens I'm eventually I know that hill is gonna be cleared off this hill but I, I also know it's time for me to to uh, move on as well. So, ooh, so sorry, folks. Let me hold on a second. Alrighty, my little tripod. <laughs> the screw came loose. I know how that goes. Oh yeah, loose screws to operate at full capacity with loose screws is not easy and that's what it feels like for me right now so anyway um just wanted to touch base it's a beautiful day but it's supposed to cool off again down about 10 15 degrees colder rain in the end of day friday saturday maybe into sunday but temperatures will go down close to freezing at night and high only in the 50, which, you know, it's spring. So that fourth and back of winter weather and spring, summer weather. So so anyway, in a way, I'm, I'm actually kind of looking forward to, to the cooler weather and the rain. Because it, it, it just, it tones things down, it just makes things... Everybody's temper, everybody's excitement, it just tones it down around here. So it's good. So, anyway, time to eat. So, Sana, Waheguru, Chimagwich, Bama P, and many, many blessings. And bon appetit. <laughs>